According to Bronnie Ware, a palliative nurse, the top five regrets of the dying are not living a life true to themselves, and instead living it to what others expected. Working too hard. Not being able to express their true feelings. Not staying in touch with dear friends. And not letting themselves be happier. This is part of the reason why I decided to complete my action research on my desire to spend more time on myself and doing activities I enjoy with family and friends. After six years of strenuous but invaluable education, working as a substitute teacher, and being my dad's caregiver, I have realized that my personal life has suffered and I need to take time to focus on the balance between my professional and personal life in order to live life to the fullest. I feel this is a perfect time to give back to myself due to the fact that I am not working over the summer, only taking one course, and my dad is physically in a stable place at this time, so my calendar is pretty empty, which will hopefully allow more time for doing activities I enjoy and getting that little piece of myself back. Over the next three weeks, I am dedicating at least one hour a day to activities I enjoy and have missed. During the three weeks, I was able to thoroughly enjoy the time I gave myself. I spent much needed time with my husband, going on a walk, having at home dinner and movie night, a day at the Del Mar Fair, and some much needed family time. We went to Disneyland with my niece Astrid for her first time, went to SeaWorld and the San Diego Zoo with my husband's cousin Anthony for his first time, had many family barbecues, and we went to the local San Diego Farmer's Market with my sister. My husband and I were also lucky enough to visit with our friends who were visiting after eight years from Canada. I also did things for myself, like gardening, getting my hair cut, playing with the animals, and a little shopping. Most importantly, I started going back to church again, which has provided me with God's word that I have been missing. Out of the three weeks, there were seven days I was not able to do something for myself. Some of the unforeseen barriers that occurred were my dad's doctor's appointments, my dog getting a hematoma, and the search for 11-year-old Terry Smith, also known as Juju, who went missing four streets away from me. Sadly, he was found in a shallow grave and his 16-year-old half-brother was charged with murder. When it really comes down to these last three weeks, what I learned was what a great community I live in and I am part of. It's a community we can be proud of. When Juju went missing, it was an outpour of support from the community. It really showed me the goodness and humankind that still exists. Although we did not get the outcome we wanted, Juju was a piece that brought us all together for the common cause. Over a thousand volunteers had showed their love for a little boy many had never met. I have found that life is very precious and you never know when it can be cut short. It is important to have the balance of personal and professional life in order to live life to the fullest. Over the years, I did lose a little piece of me and it felt good getting it back by spending time with myself, family, and friends. It makes me realize that I don't want to regret my life during my last days. As a result, I plan to continue working on this balance, ensuring I leave time for my family and friends, and never let opportunities pass to tell them I love them.